Hello guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. So today is just like a little bit different. I'm not gonna be doing makeup, I'm just gonna be like talking, but you'll have probably guessed from the title. I'm basically gonna be like giving you advice on starting a makeup account on Instagram. It's literally for people who are wanting to start or people who don't, you know what I mean? Like more, not beginners, but people who haven't, don't really take Instagram seriously, if that makes sense. Um, so if you're looking to like how to get like amazing growth i'm not that kind of gal because i my instagram is not as big um i mean it is my second account but yeah i'm not the best person to go for stuff like that um i just know how to get started and i mean i know how to grow and stuff but at the end of the day <clears throat> you can do all this stuff but you're not going to guarantee to grow all these videos about like doing things it works it might not work but i think a lot of the time it is down to look but that's just my opinion but yeah i'll just get started so the first thing is basically if you're wanting to start a makeup instagram or you know you're wanting to take it more seriously right as you know is to make sure it's obvious what your account is so you need to stick to makeup obviously if you do like makeup and something else then make sure it's them too obviously if you just do makeup leave it to makeup so if someone goes onto your account um you know who's interested in makeup and they see oh yeah she does a bit of makeup but then it's like random photos as well like of your dog or like of your food they're gonna be like well i only want to follow you because of makeup and you don't really post makeup all the time so i'm not going to follow you does that make sense so you've got to basically stay with your niche, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but yeah, you've got to make sure that your account is obvious to other people what it's about. So obviously you're gonna be posting makeup photos, you're gonna have it in your bio, like something to do with makeup. Um, yeah, you just gotta make sure that people know what your account is about. Otherwise they're not, gonna, they're not gonna follow you if your account is a bit of a mess, do you know what I mean? Another thing is when you are posting, um, make sure you are posting as best quality as you can. Make sure you know you're in good lighting. If you don't have like lights or anything, just stand in front of a window. Natural lighting is your best friend. If you don't have anything, yeah, just make sure it's good quality and you know you're really showcasing your work or like makeup products or whatever you're posting. Um, try and post regular as well. So not every day because I think. You don't need to every day, but like, you know, like three, four times a week. Um, you have to be consistent, I'm afraid, especially to begin with, because, you know, the more you post, the more people are going to see you and stuff like that. And the algorithm on Instagram is not the best, but what can we do? Don't just post photos, post videos, because videos do really well. I've noticed that sometimes i can get notifications from videos that i've posted like weeks ago so like you know they're like more i find that with me my videos get on the explore page is it the explore page yeah the explore page more than my photos so definitely try and do some videos even if you don't want to like show your face you could just do like videos of you doing swatches on your arm um you know just filming like different products you know you don't have to do like tutorials but they are really good and popular another thing is that you need to like use everything instagram has to offer so obviously you're hosting you need to post on your stories regular because i think that's where you can get a lot of your engagement if you post on your stories all the time it's really good and then your followers will like well she's active a lot um and on the stories there's like so many things you can do you can do like polls you can do questions so there's a lot more things for your followers to engage with. So obviously your engagement's gonna go up. Um, and when you are doing stories, make sure, you know, show your face as much as you can. Obviously if you don't want to, then obviously that's you, but sometimes followers like to see who is behind this account. I mean, obviously if you're taking photos of your face or your makeup on, then I'm assuming you'd probably not bother doing your face, like putting your face on your stories. Another thing, if you are talking your stories, make sure you basically, I don't know what the word is, but basically write down what you're saying so people who can't really hear um, or, you know, have struggled hearing um, can basically read what you're saying. Um, I can't think of the word for it, but I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, and don't be scared to go on your stories, like, with no makeup on. Like, my followers have seen me with no makeup on, and I feel like you, Instagram stories is kind of like your Snapchat at the same time. Like, you can kind of be more 
you not know, yourself but like a bit more like oh i've got no makeup on i don't need to be all glammed up that's just for your feed if that makes sense <laughs> i've noticed i'm doing this a lot on my hands i think because i've got nails on so i'm just like <laughs> Another thing, especially when you're starting out, follow people who have the same interests as you. So if you are doing makeup, follow people who do makeup. So, you know, type in makeup, blah, on the hashtags, go through the tags, you know, like, follow, comment. You've got to engage with other people. You can't just come on Instagram and be like, right, I'm going to post and people come to me. You have got to engage with other people too. Um, it's not just a one-way thing. I don't care how popular people get i can't stand people who are ignorant and you know what i mean so reply to all the comments you get as well even if it's just a thank you make sure you're replying because if you're not they're going to think well why is she not replying to me or why is he not replying to me like why why are they not replying to anyone like and then they're gonna be like well i'm not going to comment on their posts anymore because what's the point it makes you look very ignorant and even if you've got loads of followers, you can reply to at least some. I, I'm, I, I don't care about excuses. I mean, fair enough, you've got millions and millions, but you can still reply to a fair few. That's just my opinion. <laughs> but yes, engage with other people. Don't just post and, yeah, go away. You know what I mean? You've got to be active. So, yeah post like comment on big accounts small accounts you know just show the love because then people are like well she's very supportive i'm gonna go support her or i'm gonna go support him etc you know what i mean reels if you don't know what reels are it's basically like tiktok so it's a short video on instagram and it goes on like a real page so it's like the explore honestly i was at first i was like mm, i'll just use tiktok but but i've got about 1300 followers um and i posted i've been posting reels um I've, i started by just posting very random and they got about like you know sometimes they got over a thousand views and i was like wow that's all right and then there was one time and it got like over ten thousand views and i was just like and it was so random but like my engagement went up and then i had a few more and they went over eleven thousand views so like Reels are really, really effective, especially if you're posting on them regular, which I do now. And honestly, it's probably the best way I get engagement. So I definitely highly recommend Reels. If you do TikTok, get the TikTok videos from TikTok and post them. Um, I don't know how true it is, but Instagram, I don't know if it's, you know, if you have the TikTok handle in your video, you know, after you've saved it. Um, Instagram doesn't like that so it doesn't I don't know how true it is but yeah I always um, screen record my videos on TikTok before I post them so before I post a TikTok I will go I'll click on it you know when you can click on it to view it and then I'll screen record that and then obviously I just post that on Instagram so it doesn't have the little icon on so yeah that's how I do it and then obviously I've got content for TikTok and Instagram so I think a lot of people do that as well so yes reels are very 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 good so definitely use them honestly they are so effective and that's another thing engage with other people's reels too so just go on like the explore on the reels and just scroll through and like because usually if your account's all about makeup it usually comes up with more makeup videos anyway there are a few like other random bits but you know you can always engage with other people it doesn't have to just be makeup so followers followers doesn't matter I know people want to grow and stuff, but honestly, it doesn't matter. If you've got really good good engagement, that's just as good. Um, if you're someone who wants to do Instagram like more full-time, like as a job um, in, in the future, and you want to get noticed by brands, then, you know, people are scared that brands are really bothered about followers. Some brands are, I'm not going to lie, but some brands do genuinely look at more like the talent and the engagement engagement's really big for brands because obviously if you've got really bad engagement we're gonna be like well what's the point we're gonna waste a lot of money you know so yeah also if you want to get noticed by brands make sure you are tagging them in your posts um if you've used like their palette a bit sneeze and i'm back <laughs> yeah if you use their palette like tag them below and then say you've used their palette and um, i always do like a products list anyway on my photos and stuff so yeah do that um also use the hashtags and uh, usually if you go on the brand's page they have like the hashtag in the bio or look at their posts also 
if you go on their following, um, if they follow hashtags, you can look, and then if they're following, like, I don't know, makeup artist, then you use that tag, because it'll come up on their feed, because they're following that hashtag. If you're someone, though, who has, like, a lot of followers, and, like, you, you think the engagement's not that good, and uh, what I've done, which has helped, is I've gone through the people I'm following, and... I've unfollowed like all inactive accounts so obviously my following goes down the people I'm following but then I also go on the people that follow me so my followers and I mean if you've got a lot of followers it's going to take a while but it is worth it I scroll down I usually look for people who haven't posted because you can kind of see oh, I keep sneezing yeah you can kind of see when someone's posting a story if you just scroll through your followers because they've got that ring around the thing so i go on people who haven't and i like basically look at when they've been posting last and if it's been like ages and i'll just remove them and i do that with all my followers um yeah you do lose followers but your engagement goes up so engagement is more important than followers i think but that's my personal opinion so I'm no expert at Instagram, but I have been doing it for a few years, and this is my second account. Um, the reason I've got another account is because my old account it was just, it was just a big mess. Like it would make up, but like I had followers, and I just couldn't be bothered to go through them and stuff. And I think I was like shadow banned loads of times because back then I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just posting and stuff. So I thought, you know, I need a fresh start, and this account has done so much more for me than the other one has. And that's another thing, the shadow ban. Um, I don't know how true it is, but yeah, with hashtags, when you are using hashtags, that's another thing, use hashtags, but make sure you're not using the same hashtags every single time, because it's going to be like, wait a minute, is this like a spam account? And make sure you're using relevant hashtags, so don't be putting like, cute dogs under a makeup, you know what I mean? Like, just make sure it's relevant to your post, and make sure you're using brands hashtags again, and like, just big hashtags, so hashtags with a lot of like uses and then also small ones so you've got like a variety because um, obviously if you're posting a hashtag with like millions and millions of posts your post probably going to get lost more than likely so try and do a mixture of both because that's going to be more beneficial because people will see you on other hashtags and you might get seen on the big ones but not as much as the small ones but you want a mixture but yeah make sure you change it up every Every time you post, um, even if you're just changing a few, just try and not be repetitive. Yeah, and no spamming. So don't be like spamming people with likes and comments because that's how you get banned. And it is a pain in the backside. So, yes. Speaking from experience, stay away from support groups. I know they sound amazing, and they are. Um, I did meet a lot of nice people, but you become more reliant on them and it's not the best because, you know, you have all these engagement, but then like you think, well, I can't I can't keep up because you've got to obviously engage with the people as well, but it's not like by choice, you've got to do it so you can stay in the group. Yeah, you've got all this engagement and then you decide to leave and then that engagement's gone because the, a lot of the people just engage you because you're in the group. And it's like, well, it doesn't look good and you're, you just you go like this. So I try to stay away from if you can. I mean, I have it in the past, um, but I've learnt from my mistakes. Also, I mean, if you are, you can if you want, but I'm just trying to, like, say, just stay away from them because they, can, they have benefits, but they also have disadvantages as well, so, yeah. But if you do, make sure you're not in one of them where they're really strict, so, like, you've got to, like, uh, I don't know, comment so many words, um, you've got to engage in a certain time frame because, no, that's just not that's not it you don't have to do anything it's your account you know what i mean yeah another thing to stay away from is follow loops because yeah you think oh my god i'm getting all these followers but a lot of the time it's just random followers that don't really engage with you and then they even follow you anyway so it's you're not really gaining anything you know what i mean like you can have so many followers but if they're not engaging with you then there's no point in having them followers do you know what i mean do not buy followers okay because instagram just could be like bye bang you that's it that's how strict instagram is right now like you can't really sneeze without getting into trouble <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> you've got to be careful just try and grow like without using anything just try and grow by posting regularly 
engaging reels honestly i can't stress enough how important reels are because they are really good and making sure your content is really good quality because obviously if it's not that good quality people are gonna be like well, i'm just gonna scroll past it do you know what i mean so i mean you don't need all this fancy equipment i just take it on my iphone and i have i do have a ring light you can get them cheap from amazon but like i said before natural lighting is your best friend if you don't have it obviously if the weather's really rich then it's not the best but it's better than nothing and you can also edit photos don't be scared about editing i know a lot of people out here use facetune um i use facetune but i use it to like if i have a really big spot i like i just like to cover that because it, you know it's like there and i'm like no um i like i add a bit of warmth in my photos because sometimes when you take a photo the color like kind of like washes out a bit so i bring it back but i don't edit makeup on don't do that because that is so fake and it's like what is the point if you're just gonna do that why don't you just edit photo one instead of putting it on you know what i mean <laughs> don't be scared to edit photos just don't overly edit them because there's so many people I see and it's like so obvious that it's edited and it's like, you might as well have just done that on a face chart, you know, on the digital face charts because you've just done that on your eyes, it's like, where's the actual product? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Most importantly, just enjoy it because Instagram doesn't have to be a nightmare, you know, you might just be doing it as a hobby, that's how I started. I mean, I'm, it's more of a hobby now anyway because i'm doing something else but like if anything happened with it then that's even better i do want to be a content creator but that's probably in the future um but yeah just enjoy it just you know have fun posting engaging it doesn't have to be strict or anything if you can't post three four times a week then don't worry about it too much as long as you're posting kind of regularly then that's all that matters okay so don't stress too much about it um yeah so that's all I think I have got to give you guys. Um, like I said, it's just for people who are wanting to start with an Instagram account or, you know, need a bit of guidance of how to get it going. Um, it's not about how you grow and stuff, because um, I'm not an expert on that. Um, there's loads of videos that are out there that you can look at, but a lot of it is just repeating itself and a lot of the stuff doesn't work. It's literally it might work but it might it might not do you know what i mean it's like 50 50 but i do think a lot of it is luck but yeah that's just instagram for you like it's a bit rubbish at the minute but we make it how we want so yes i hope you guys found this video helpful um like i said i'm not an expert but that's just my advice and what i did as i start, got started and i do enjoy instagram as much as i can um yeah so thank you so much for watching guys um if you want you can follow me on instagram i leave it linked in my description also if you want you can drop your instagrams and then you know other people can follow you you know all that jazz um i do tend to follow back as much as i can but yes thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next video bye